Drager tubes and pump is used to measure which gas? A. Toxic gas. B. Flammable gas. C. Oxygen. D. Inert gas. Answer. A. Toxic gas. What below applies to type C type tanks? A. Primary barrier and secondary barrier are required. B. No secondary barrier is required. C. Partial secondary barrier is required in the form of a drip tray. Answer. B. No secondary barrier is required. What is the propellant gas used in fixed, DCP firefighting systems on deck of liquefied gas carrier? A. Oxygen. B. Compressed air. C. Acetylene. D. Nitrogen. Answer. D. Nitrogen. Running both cargo pumps in parallel will cause one of the below. A. Almost double the discharge pressure with same discharge rate. B. Almost double the discharge rate with discharge pressure unchanged. C. Almost double discharge rate and discharge pressure. D. Almost same discharge pressure and rate as running one pump. Answer. B. Almost double the discharge rate with discharge pressure unchanged. What is the name of the certificate issued by a flag administration confirming that the structure, equipment, fittings, arrangements and materials used in the construction of a gas carrier are in compliance with the relevant gas code? A. Certificate of Construction B. Load Line Certificate C. Safety Construction Certificate D. Certificate of Fitness Answer C. Safety Construction Certificate which petroleum gases does LPG mainly consist of? A. Ethane and pentane. B. Butadiene and ammonia. C. Chlorine and ethylene. D. Propane and butane. Answer. D. Propane and butane. Can LNG, LPG be used as fuel in ship's engine room? A. Only LPG can be used. B. Only LNG can be used. C. Yes, both can be used. D. No, none can be used. Answer. B. Only LNG can be used. List the dryers used with an inert gas generator on gas ships to dry the inert gas generated. A. Refrigerated dryer and absorption dryer. B. Only refrigerated dryer. C. Only absorption dryer. D. None of the above, only demister used. Answer. A. Refrigerated dryer and absorption dryer. What is the operation carried out prior to cooling down the tanks on fully refrigerated liquefied gas carriers? A. Gassing up. B. Inerting. C. Aerating. D. Gas freeing. Answer. A. Gassing up. What is the auto ignition temperature of ethylene oxide? A. 452 degrees Celsius. B. 509 degrees Celsius. C. 429 degrees Celsius. D. 396 degrees Celsius. Answer. C. 429 degrees C. What is the critical pressure of propane in bars absolute? A. 38.1 bars absolute. B. 42.6 bars absolute. C. 50.2 bars absolute. D. 46.2 bars absolute. Answer. B. 42.6 bars absolute. What is known as inert gas? A. Non-flammable gases containing insufficient oxygen to support combustion. B. Flammable gas with concentration between the LEL and UFL limits. C. Flammable gas with concentration above UFL limits. D. Toxic gas having concentration percentage below the TLVTWA. Answer. A. Non-flammable gases containing insufficient oxygen to support combustion. Which fixed firefighting system is mandatory for firefighting on the deck of a liquefied gas carrier? A. Fixed low expansion foam firefighting system. B. Fixed DCP system. C. CO2 fixed system. D. Fixed Wet Chemical Firefighting System Answer B. Fixed DCP System What is critical temperature? A. 
the temperature above which a gas cannot be liquefied by pressure alone. b. The temperature at which the gas changes state to liquid at a corresponding pressure. c. The temperature at which the gas gets superheated. d. The temperature at which the liquefied gas changes state from liquid to gas. Answer. a. The temperature above which a gas cannot be liquefied by pressure alone. What operation is done on fully refrigerated gas carriers before loading? A. Gassing up. B. Cooling down. C. Inerting. D. Aerating. Answer. B. Cooling down. What operation is done on fully refrigerated gas carriers before gassing up after getting out from dry dock? A. Drying. B. Inerting. C. Cooling down. D. Aerating. Answer. B. Inerting. Independent type B tanks on gas carriers are A. Completely self-supporting when full or empty B. Self-supporting only when empty C. Self-supporting only when full D. Not self-supporting Answer A. Completely self-supporting when full or empty The IGC code stipulates that a secondary barrier must be able to contain tank leakage for a period of how many days? A. 10 days B. 15 days. C. 30 days. D. 45 days. Answer. B. 15 days. What is the minimum discharge time for a deck fixed DCP system with all monitors and handheld hoses operating? A. 25 seconds. B. 35 seconds. C. 45 seconds. D. 1 minute. Answer. C. 45 seconds. What are carbamates? A. A white powdery substance produced by the reaction of ammonia with carbon dioxide. B. The compounds formed by the interaction of water and hydrocarbons at certain pressures and temperatures. C. A compound formed by the chemical combination of cargo liquid or vapor with atmospheric oxygen or oxygen from another source. D. The chemical union of two or more molecules of the same compound to form a larger molecule of a new compound. Answer. A. A white powdery substance produced by the reaction of ammonia with carbon dioxide. What are peroxides? A. A white powdery substance produced by the reaction of ammonia with carbon dioxide. B. The compounds formed by the interaction of water and hydrocarbons at certain pressures and temperatures. C. A compound formed by the chemical combination of cargo liquid or vapor with atmospheric oxygen or oxygen from another source. D. The chemical union of two or more molecules of the same compound to form a larger molecule of a new compound. Answer. C. A compound formed by the chemical combination of cargo liquid or vapor with atmospheric oxygen or oxygen from another source. A device used to determine the liquid vapor interface during the ullaging of semi and the pressurized tanks. A. Radar gauges. B. Float gauges. C. Capacitance gauges. D. Slip tubes. Answer. D. Slip tubes. Example of closed gauging system which does not penetrate the cargo tank? A. Slip tubes. B. Float gauges. C. Radar gauges. D. Nitrogen bubbler gauge. Answer. C. Radar gauges. Float gauges on liquefied gas tankers is an example of which gauging system? A. Closed devices which do not penetrate the cargo tank. B. Restricted gauging. C. Closed devices which penetrate the cargo tank. D. Indirect systems. Answer. B. Restricted gauging. Semi-pressurized ships capable of withstanding carriage temperatures of up to minus 48 degrees Celsius can carry which of the below? A. LNG B. Ethylene C. Ethane D. LPG Answer. D. LPG The deep well or submersible cargo pumps for pumping liquefied gases are of which type? A. Rotary vane type B. Gear type C. Piston type D. Centrifugal type Answer. D. Centrifugal type